Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Absolutely honoured to be joined by the undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Canelo Alvarez. Canelo, how are you feeling? I feel good. I'm ready. I'm ready to come back. Stronger than ever. Glad to hear it. Um, obviously, the last fight against Dimitri Bivol did not end the way you would have liked. How many occasions have you watched the fight again? And what I, did you I think? watched it like two times, three times. And I, I just get tired. That's it. That's what I lost. What can you learn from that defeat? No, I learned a lot from that defeat. And always you learn from win and lose too. But uh, what I need to tell you is uh, I'm more dangerous than ever. And I just... Uh, I'm ready to come back. Now, a lot of people talked about your position in the pound-for-pound pound rankings after the Bivol fight because you're not really a light heavyweight and so many people felt you should still be pound-for-pound pound number one. What is your view? No, I feel the best. I feel the best because not a lot of fighters uh, uh, do what I do because they are scared to lose. And I'm not. I try to accomplish uh, a lot in my career, and that's it. And I feel good. I feel proud of what I did. And this occasion, um, uh, we, lo we lost, and it is what it is. And you had to choose between uh, an immediate rematch with Bivol or no. Triple G no, first, I, then Bivol. Just, just oh. the uh, next day, I tell Eddie Hearn, say, I won the rematch in September. It's the only, the only fight I won in September, but uh, we have contracts uh, before and we make these two deal fights with this one, which is uh, Bivol and Golovkin fight and, and we are here. We need, to, we need to do this fight and then we, we want to start talking about the, the rematch. And we spoke to uh, Triple G earlier, about 10 minutes ago. He said... Why? Where were you all these years when he's been calling for a third fight? From your just, point I'm, of view, I'm, I'm busy fighting with the best fighters out there. That's it. Is this one personal for you with Golovkin? Is this fight with Golovkin personal for you? Yeah, personal. It's, it's, this this fight is personal for me. Because, like I said before, he pretend be a nice guy here, and 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 he talk a lot of shit, shit behind, behind. But when he's in front of the people or the camera, he pretend they, pretend be a nice guy. <laughs> Does that make you want to get a stoppage more in this fight to yes. win inside the distance? Yes. Good. <laughs> it's good for the fans. Um, you said you're on a two-fight deal with the zone. Uh, is it likely that you may extend that deal with Matt and with the zone after? Uh, I'm just hundred percent focused on this fight, and then we're gonna have a seat and and talking about it. What do you think this fight, the third one with Triple G? What do you think it can do for your legacy? No, the people want this fight, and he's a he's a good fighter. He's maybe the best, one of the best fighters in boxing history. So it's, every single fight is, is important for me. Do you feel you get the respect you deserve for fighting so many difficult challenges, so many avoided fighters as well? Yes, I think so. They, they respect, everybody knows boxing, uh, respect what I, what I did, what I do for, for boxing. And when you see, uh, I believe Floyd Mayweather was in the news recently, potentially a, a rematch with Conor McGregor. He always seems to be in the news when you're going to fight. Yeah. Do you think he does this intentionally? Could be. Could be. We don't know, but it could be. <laughs> and what can fans expect but, but from never the third works, fight? So oh, it's fine. <laughs> no, it won't work. What can fans expect from this third fight with Triple G? What type of fight do you expect? It's going to be a really good fight because we don't like each other. So it's going to be a really good fight. And he's a really good fighter. And, and, and 
I think is is going to be one of the best fights in the boxing history. Now he said earlier that he has not watched your last fight with Dimitri Bivol. He said he of was course. busy. He didn't o watch of, it. Of of course he watched. He saw yeah, that. Fight. I agree. So what did you think of his last fight with Ryota Murata? I I just watch uh, highlights because I was in Greece, so I watch the highlights. But uh, he looks like always. He's a strong. He's a smart fighter. Um, I think he looks good. Why were you um, in Greece? Was it a holiday? Yeah. Vacation? Yeah. When are we going to see you over in the UK? I hope soon. I really want to, I know to Eddie, fight in, in UK. Yeah, Eddie Hearn has talked about potentially December you could come over and fight one of our British fighters. Uh, I don't know. Now I don't know. I need to, like I say, I I just want to fight right now. Golovkin and the rematch, but I will see. Now, final question before I let you go. You're a long way from giving up the sport, retiring, long, long way yet. But when it is all finished, what do you want fans to say about you? I'm one of the best fighters in boxing history. Brilliant. Thank you very much. It's been an honour and um, good luck with Thank the rest you. of camp. Thank you. Thank you.